Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show where we review Lego sets, and today we're looking at a Hero Factory set. It is set number 7164, ages 6 to 16, 17 pieces. It is Preston Stormer. The, the Hero Factory is not officially out yet, but the heroes, not the villains, not the huge guys, not the vehicles, but just the heroes are available at Toys R Us. I found them at my local Toys R Us. I'm not going to say which one it is because I like to keep my... Life, local, not on the internet. I like I don't like to put that type of stuff on the internet. But yes, I got this and one other Hero Factory hero on my uh, trip to Toys R Us, and I might not be the first one to review Preston Stormer, but I might. Don't comment. I will know. Do not comment if I am the first one to review it. I will know. But, uh, I know I'm not the first person to review Hero Factory sets. I might be the first to review Stormer, but I see a I've see i seen a review of William uh, Ferno on YouTube from someone. But this is, might be the first Preston Stormer review. So yeah, let's look at the box finally. On the front it's got uh, Hero Factory logo, Lego. Right there it's Preston Stormer in the little picture. Stormer and big letters. There's all the useless information that I just told you. Building toy. Oh my gosh, you didn't guess. It's Lego. And Stormer again. From the cre from the makers of Bionicle characters. Yep, controversy up the butt. Yeah. HeroFactory.lego.com. I've been there. It's kind of lame. Yeah, you can tell that the box is in really bad condition. That's because I open it with my nails. These guys. See on here, it, looks, it has a picture of Preston Stormer. There's his name and the number. And fighting Von Nebula, the main villain, because you know he's the leader. He's got to fight the main villain. There's that, and there's the actual size of the mask. I actually haven't tested it yet. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And warnings, the uh, barcode. I forget what it's called, Stormer. And here it's got the Hero Factory symbol thing, the H with the little line in the center. Yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much a stars canister with a different top and different paint. Probably is. I, yeah, I think the bottom part is like this bottom black part. Yeah, now let's look at Stormer. So yeah, these feet, these new feet pieces. Oh, I pulled off his whole leg. These new feet pieces are really cool. It's actually two pieces here. It looked different in the uh, trailer where they're building William, but uh, yeah, that's the foot. It's a really nice foot. I dropped Preston, and here's the leg. I said I took it off accidentally. Yeah, it snaps on s sideways. Dang it! Sorry. Come on. There we go. And it's got this new shin guard piece, which for some reason doesn't protect the knee, which I'm pretty sure is the weakest part of the leg. It's very painful if you get hit in the knee. Not so much the, uh, thigh. I, forget, I don't know what it's called. So yeah, this piece is really cool. It has just a little plus connector thing. Goes in there. And the leg's a new piece, I think. It looks really cool. Yeah, let's put this leg back on Stormer. I like calling them Stormer. Not per I used to like calling them by their real names, like Preston, Mark, William, Natalie, Duncan. So yeah, uh, here's his arm, his normal arm without the weapon. Looks pretty nice, it's the same leg piece. There's the Glatorian hand. And here's the chest with this, it's actually not a Ben 10 body, it's different. Like this piece, and of course this piece is new, with the cool spikes right here and the H logo which actually can be taken off I like to think of them as like the power source or something yeah it just snaps them like that you could put like say someone like Williams on Preston and it would still be there or it would be there and here's his mask it's a well my watch beeps yeah and there's his Glatorian head and all its clear blue glory and here's his mask. It's a very nice mask. Oh, fail. Sorry about that. Here. 
He, it looks like it has like a communicator on the side. There it goes. And the arm, the weapon arm, it's got like this really cool like ice spike. This part's rubber, I think. Yeah, it's like floppy and gonna move around. It's got this spike, a little saw. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's got like a, that, and there's the Hero Factory logo again. And it's actually not an arm with a hand. That's that's part of the uh, piece, if you haven't noticed. And see, it's just connected by that, which is kind of weird. Has that little hole there. See, so, yeah. Preston is pretty big. He's actually a bit bigger than I thought. Uh, he was one of my favorites of just like the pictures and stuff, so that's why I bought him along with my favorite. Who you'll see tomorrow or maybe earlier or whatever. Eh. So he just looks cool with this like awesome gadget arm. I have to call it like the gauntlet or gadget or something. That's Preston standing in front of his box. And so far it's just the heroes. I don't know any villains. I don't think they're officially out yet. So yeah, that's Preston. He is uh let me look at my guy again. My other hero. Yeah, he's probably my favorite of the two I have right now. He's just really cool. I have to give him 8 out of 10 worth like $14. He is just really cool. He is one of my favorites so far. He is my favorite so far. Along with what I... Or it's ahead of what I thought was my favorite, who's sort of lacking. But this guy, he just lives up to his potential. He's a Bionicle. Yes, he's a ripoff. He's replacing Bionicle. Bionicle's dead. Get it out of your mind. Shut up. I hate you. Die. Okay, I don't hate you, but... Yeah, he's replacing my uncle. Hero Factory is a really good substitute. If they design all of them as good as these two, I'm going to be happy with the series. So, 8 out of 10. Go find it at Toys R Us. Call Toys R Us, see if they have it. Uh, it actually wasn't on ToysRUs.com. And uh, now it's on Lego.com. But yes, I own Preston Storm. I love myself. So, yeah, bye.